It's probably safe to say you don't need an introduction to Angelina Jolie. After all, she's been called the most famous actress in the world by outlets like Insider. The superstar went from starring in small films to being an internationally respected actress and activist. And the transformation from Academy Award-winning actress to world-renowned humanitarian began in Cambodia, where she was filming the blockbuster Lara Croft Tomb Raider franchise. Another journey began in Cambodia, her journey to becoming a mother. Maddox, the star's eldest child, was adopted from an orphanage in 2002. It's much less likely you heard of Elizabeth Jacobs, but that may change soon. She wasn't a household name in 2002, having been adopted herself from Cambodia in 2000. Now she's a young director whose first feature-length documentary, titled Stolen Children, is making waves. The film follows Jacobs' return to Cambodia 21 years later. She told Shout Out LA she was armed with nothing but a desire to, quote, uncover the truth about her adoption and whether or not she was involved in the baby trafficking scandal that happened exactly the same time she was adopted. This is where Jolie and Jacobs' paths intersect, and it appears the actress may be caught up in the wave created by the young documentarian. The question of how the two women are connected begins with the adoptions themselves. In 2004, a woman named Lauren Galindo, who had reportedly facilitated adoptions of Cambodian children spanning over a decade, was handed a prison sentence after pleading guilty to charges of conspiracy to commit visa fraud and money laundering, according to ABC News. The charges stemmed from something much darker, the accusation that she stole children from vulnerable women. Allegedly, some women were coerced to give up their child with promises of thousands of dollars from rich American parents, but who reportedly received far less, including amounts reported to be as low as $15 or even a bag of rice. Meanwhile, Galindo got rich. The former hula dancer owned multiple homes around the world, including a lavish property in Hawaii. Essentially, Galindo put hundreds of Cambodian children in the hands of American parents. According to The Sun, both Jacobs and Jolie's son Maddox are allegedly among the trafficked. Lauren Galindo operated in murky waters, the result of which has cast suspicion on all the adoptions she oversaw, reportedly half of all Cambodian adoptions during that time. Despite there being no specific evidence of any wrongdoing by Jolie or the other unsuspecting parents who believe Galindo's stories about the pasts of the children they were adopting, questions remain about the validity of the adoptions themselves. At the time of Maddox's adoption, Jolie was married to Billy Bob Thornton, but her on-screen and off-screen leading man wasn't in Maddox's life for long. The couple divorced in 2003. Newsweek reports that Jolie had actually adopted her first child without Thornton. In 2006, during their marriage, Brad Pitt formally adopted Maddox. This parental relationship has been a rocky one with the eldest Jolie Pitt, who was the only adult child of the couple at the time. He even testified against Pitt in court proceedings for custody, according to Us Weekly. You turned my own kids against me. However, in May 2021, Pitt was granted joint custody of their children, including Maddox. This is not the first time questions have been raised specifically about Maddox's adoption. In 2017, a Cambodian charity aid director told The Sun he had claimed on paper to be Maddox's father to assist the actress, stating, She had to change his name, so the only way was for me to do it. I said he's my son. There's no evidence Jolie or Thornton had knowledge of any false paperwork, and the actress has maintained her son's past was researched thoroughly. According to the Daily Mail, Jolie and Thornton went to great lengths to ensure Maddox did not have a living birth mother in Cambodia. She expanded on her belief that her son was not one of the stolen children and reportedly said, I would never rob a mother of her child. I can only imagine how dreadful that would feel.